Slut. Whore. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're both right. <laughs> you know, sticks and stones. But, but the slut stigma oh, still is a lot for young women to deal with. Ah, uh, I know. So Chloe and Maria are from Wayne State University, and they emailed you over a Facebook incident. A woman had written in her status, control your whoredom with a W. Hormones. Oh, yeah, that's it. Control your hormones. W-H-O-R-E, moans. You slut. You slut. And 25 people liked that comment and yeah. did the whole like thing. And they thought, how come no one else is outraged? How come other women would like that? And what do they do? Their question to you is, what do we do to combat do do? this mentality? Okay. How do we deal with this? Okay, got it. Um, it's the same thing that we did back in the 70s. You have to start a group. You have to get a support group. You can't be hanging out there all alone. So in the 70s, we called it consciousness raising. Bad name. Very bad name. And not very it, sexy. It got shortened to CR, which was better, but still not a good... It's not a good branding. It's like no. it's like the Democrats. We never know what to call anything <laughs> to make it interesting. And, and it's the same thing here. So I wrote back, get, get a group that meets once... Twice a month, once a month, on a regular basis. And there are a lot of ways to start it up, but the important thing is that you're sharing your experience with one another. Exactly. And sharing that experience like I did in Marie Claire, saying I've had sex with 100 people. Exactly. Just being honest and exactly. talking about the Be type open. of sex you're having, yes. that you're a slut. And By the standard, you're a slut and you don't <laughs> care. <laughs> and I just published my memoir, which is 400 pages of details about what I did sexually, which people find disgusting. When the vagina monologues first hit the, co the college circuit, women were wanting me to come to their colleges and universities to talk about sex positive because they had enough of, you know... The violence, let's get some Yeah, positive. yeah, let's, let's talk about how to make mm -hmm. it better. And because I don't want to travel and go all over the country doing that... We're going to do it via Skype. Ha <laughs> ha! But what I would do at the time is I got my DVDs and I made a little package... And they got, and I never charged them. I sent the DVDs to the women who asked, and I said, "Here, play a portion of this and start and talk a, about it and start a conversation." And a lot of them did. And, and now you can do it online. They could watch the clips from all your DVDs or on the site. They could just do and it have a discussion. Yeah, and it could all be virtual. Start a Facebook fan page, and I love what you talked about the orgasmic sisterhood. I love that name. That's not a bad name, because I said, yeah, we have to get it. We can't call it consciousness raising, please. And then you said sluts are us. Well, I like that. It's a little harsh. Actually, no, but <laughs> we had a group not long ago of postmenopausal women, and we picked the word sluts are us. It would be interesting to see how many women would join that fan page, that group. I would. You can put me first. You can link to our article, link to your memoir. We'll be the first members. We'll be your first members. Very good. Now, but what I want, Carlin, what I want us to do, I want us to figure out a way to once once a month we'll have a, a an open dialogue Skype. Like we'll, a fireside chat. Yes. And you can ask us questions. Yeah. We'll, we'll so deal. what we could do is get groups of women together, and that could be the group. Back and forth. And back and forth. And they're in their room with their group with their laptop. And they can ask us questions, and we can talk, and we can have fun and tell jokes and share stories. And so, yeah. if you'd like us to come yeah. and speak yeah. on a date, right, this is what you'll be seeing on the Skype chat. If you want us to come to your university, come to your group. Send us an email. And we'll Skype your, we'll do a Skype. Yeah, email us through the site, dodsonross.com, or find us on Facebook. So, we're going to start a movement called the Orgasmic Sisterhood that will connect with all the colleges and universities.